Well, the good news is that chapter 16 is short because there's a lot of information going on in there. A lot of big names, territories, and details. It is important though because it sets up the next chapter and much of the Bible. But let's not pass over the purpose and significance of this chapter. And here's the lesson. God gives clear, detailed instructions. He has a specific plan for our lives. The problem isn't that God isn't clear enough on what is sin and what isn't, or what pleases God and what doesn't, or what his plan and boundaries are for us. The problem is that it just isn't what we want. So whatever challenge you face today, whatever area of your life isn't good, look at it as a divine appointment as part of the details of your life that God planned for you to have a significant part in making it prosperous and successful. That is the lesson here. No matter where God puts you, he wants you to not just be content, but to prosper. Now, much later in Jeremiah 29, because they weren't content, God's people will be led into captivity. But even then, even in that situation, this is what God says. Multiply, do not dwindle away, and work for the peace and prosperity of the city where I sent you into exile. Pray to the Lord for it, for its welfare will determine your welfare.